So, there are some other chemical coordinators in our body just like insulin which we have discussed. So, what are these chemical coordinators called as? These are the kind of chemicals that are secreted by our tissues which have a specific function. So, these kind of chemical coordinators are called as hormones. Who coined this name? Hormones. So, it was coined by a scientist, a physiologist called Sterling in 1905. He coined the term hormones. So, in Greek, hormavo means impel. So, we have different kind of hormones. These hormones are produced by glands. So, can we say all the secretions of a gland called as hormones? No, because we have various glands like lacrimal glands in the eyes, it, produ it produces tears. Salivary glands in the mouth, these salivary glands, they secrete saliva. Can we say that saliva is a hormone? No. So, our glands are of two types, basically glands with a duct, ductless, ductless, without duct, the secretions are directly released into the blood. Such kind of glands are called as endocrine glands, endocrine glands. So, the secretions of this endocrine glands are called as hormones. So, what are the two types? Duct glands and ductless glands. Salivary gland is a ducted gland. And if you see that um, lacrimal glands is a ducted gland. Sweat glands are ducted glands. They have some pipe to pass their secretion. Sometimes certain glands act as a both endocrine and exocrine gland. Say for example, pancreas. Pancreas secretes pancreatic juice. It passes through a duct to the duodenum. So, there it works like a duct gland, ducted gland. But whereas the same pancreas, it has got islet cells which secrete their secretions directly into the blood without any duct. Then we consider them, consider the pancreas as an endocrine. So, that is a ductless. So, the secretions of these ductless glands are hormones. Their secretion is not active or continuous throughout. So, at different stages, at different situations, uh, at different stimuli, their production is controlled, their production is varied, different levels. Certain hormones are secreted in high quantity at particular age period or group. So, their secretions, their um, quantity of uh, their amount, the amount of hormonal secretion is varied. It is based on various factors. Sometimes they are secreted in. Of course, the quantity of the secretion is very small when compared to the secretions like saliva or tears. They are secreted in large quantity. But hormones are secreted in very minute quantity, very minute quantity, but their impact is very high. And the hormones are organ specific. That means, say for example, the hormone that is secreted in the brain near pituitary gland, it works on the kidney. So, it is transported through blood to all the other parts, but it, show, it will not show its impact on other parts. It will show its impact only on the target organ kidneys. So, like Hormones are organ specific or tissue specific. That means they show their actions only on the target organ or tissue, not on all parts of our body. So, they are very, uh, they are secreted in very small quantities. Now, let us understand the functioning of these hormones. The major activity of the hormones is to bring about certain changes in our body. Generally, hormones are associated with the va various growth events of our life. Say, we see the small babies, they take birth, at certain age uh, they get teeth, at certain age they get that uh, social interactivity, smiling and learn talking and standing, standing erect and walking and growing up, so uh, becoming matured and uh, repro uh, that is uh, getting the reproduction ability. So, growing into adults in such a way, there are so many events and carrying, um, giving birth to the young ones, producing the young ones, growing old and dying. So, we say that there are different stages in the life and there are so many events in our life which happens at specific ages. 
so how these are executed how these changes are executed why a baby gets teeth at a say at an age of 6 month or 8 month so how these these are executed so these are all executed and they are all controlled by certain hormones in our body hormones are responsible for changes in our body so hormones not only bring the changes in our body in our growth patterns the hormones they also help us to uh, coordinate the various kind of chemical reactions maintaining the internal environment in a balance distribution of the nutrients conversion of the nutrients from one form to another form these are also under the control of the hormones so hormones they make our internal environment our internal environment coordinated so that adjusted see certain hormones are secreted in some, some situations like fear so when we are scared because of something then immediately a hormone called adrenaline is secreted adrenaline is secreted by the adrenal gland this adrenaline immediately it brings so many changes in our body which help us to either fight or flight the situation that is if you see a rabbit dog a mad dog approaching you to bite immediately you get scared either there you may, you may have to fight with that otherwise you have to escape from the situation you have two choices so fight or flight so in such situations either to fight with the dog or to fly away from that dog you need to have some kind of uh, your body must be ready to face the situation and your body will be made ready for the situation by this hormone called as adrenaline so when you face such a scared situation what happens to you immediately you feel some kind of changes in your body your breathing rate increases more oxygen is supplied you breathe number of times your blood pressure is increased the blood is pumped so forcibly fast to supply more oxygen and glucose to your muscles to react quickly to respond quickly and at the same time you see that hairs on your body hairs on your skins erect they raise up and you may find some goose bumps sometimes the pupil is dilated it becomes much bigger the sense organs become more alert so by that you can sense each and every change every sound is heard so clearly that it helps you to escape from the threat sometimes involuntarily the bladder and rectum are emptied so all these changes are to face the situation so our body is made ready with all these changes by the hormone adrenaline so nervous system it control and coordinate our voluntary and involuntary functions but certain cases its control and coordination is limited so the other part is taken responsibility by the these chemical coordinators called as hormones so hormones are responsible for bringing certain kind of changes in our body so adrenaline is one of the example that which helps to face such kind of situation so adrenaline is called as fight or flight hormone fight or flight hormone it's called as fight or flight hormone so these kind of hormones they are produced by the ductless glands and we call it as endocrine system endocrine system so it consists of a number of hormones endocrine system consists of uh, endocrine glands ductless glands which secrete a number of hormones uh, which play an important role in the growth patterns and even producing changes in our body